I'm going to unhook this green beast and take her back to its home. Yep, this operator is not in that seat anymore. Time to get this thing unhooked. And the rolling basket flow is on, so I need to turn that off before I unhook those hoses. Let's see if I can figure that out. I'll just put it in float. That's how you do it. Just put it in float. There'll be no pressure to it. You know, I'm just gonna turn this tracker off. With all the high power pressure will be off of it. All right, now let's try it. Is there a trick to this? Oh. Well, that'll help. click this down or up down or up I don't know what it is but I clicked it down to get those hydraulic hoses clicked off of there it must relieve the pressure or something but this thing's all unhooked the uh, 620 was an interesting piece of machinery here we got to operate I don't know I thought it was pretty nice didn't really run it that much couple hours I think one day but the real uh, interview ought to be from Grove because he went from running that 580 to this thing so he would know which one would be the better tractor getting this thing filled up with some juice here it's full of fuel too so ready to be returned what do you think of this John Deere very nice do you want one nope <laughs> no, it, I Dad's a big dog that. case guy. It's a nice truck. I don't like wheels. No, I don't either. Can't go from tracks to wheels. Well, I think we've got a little change of plans here. murky has been working on Dad's sprayer. It's been broke down all day yesterday and a little bit this morning here. So he's finishing that up. I think he's pretty much done. So it looks like we're going to be going to spray off that last couple of fields I did yesterday. So, I'm going to be hopping in the tanker here and Dad's going to run that sprayer today. It won't take too long to spray off what we got left. So, I'm sure after I'm done with that, I'll hop, hop in this thing and take it back to its uh, home. Get your proper PPE on. I said you didn't check the gas. Run out. Looks like you got your proper PPE on. I do. Not really. So speaking of uh, proper PPE, Dad is heading home because he got a little chemical on him. On his shirt and arms and stuff. So he's going home to shower up and change clothes. So I'm taking over on the spraying. He'll be back shortly. And... Uh, I'll just have to run that tanker. I'll finish out this brand here. You're in different clothes. <laughs> He's in different PPE now. One last pull here. Be able to empty this thing out. Clean out the sprayer. So I took the last pull 
of 2022 pre-emergence herbicide off that tanker. I uh, had about a 850 gallon put in this thing. So I only had 49 acres left, up my rate to 17. So we're not gonna have very much left over when I'm done here, which is gonna be nice. Cause if I would've left it at 15, we would've had quite a bit of chemical left over. I'm not gonna overlay a ton of it. Cause if you put it on too heavy, it, it will hurt the beans. So got the rate set at what I want and uh, gonna finish this thing off and empty this sprayer out when I get done with this field. I sprayed whatever was off here in the barn lot. Tank's empty. Drop open the valves here and let it drain out. See you guys on Monday. I think we're going to be uh, switching out those tires on that sprayer, but the row crop one's back on. Had a much needed four tenths of rain last night. This corn's looking good. So we're going to be swapping out these sprayer tires. We're going to put the skinny ones back on. And we do have the fourth. I don't know if you remember from a, quite a few videos ago, we had all three of these, but the last one wasn't in yet, so I think it's in now. I'm going to pull this sprayer in the shop, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on it. I'm not sure. I think maybe FS is coming out, and they're going to put that new tire on while we're doing all this. So, Last tire here, fellas. What do you think? Happy to be done. <laughs> Happy to be done, but sad to put the new... Uh, it's always a sad day to put skinny tires on. Yep. fenders are on and uh, I'm putting these fenders back in this old shed out back so now I'm gonna load up these floater tires on the pallets and put them back out here we're loading some water into the sprayer and we're gonna rinse it out a couple times and then we'll be ready for some post corn whenever the dirt dries off see if I can make it out here without knocking these things off the pallet Here. Well, we got this whole sprayer all rinsed out. Uh, all the filters are clean, it's ready to go. And we're having some issues again with the uh, boom auto fold. And it's wanting to swing this left boom way out. We're going to unfold it. It's doing a bunch of weird stuff. So, Fergie's is going to come fix it at some point. Um, FS is going to be here later to swap out that, extra, that other tire. Are these new shoes on this 3330. Sure looking good. I happen to be looking at this planter. Just kind of looking at everything. And there's a uh, bolt broke on this firming point in here. So I'm going to back this planter out and go ahead and fix that. Just so uh, 
This planner's ready. I don't know if I have to do any replanning or not. Hopefully not. But if we ever have to do any replanning, then they'll be ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and back this thing out, fix this, and go from there. I looked at some corn this morning, this morning, or this afternoon actually. And uh, it's about 10 inches tall, uh, five collar stage. So I'd say it could be sprayed any time, but I'm not gonna spray today because for one, it's too windy. And I don't know when we'll be able to get to it. top bolt right there right here broke off so I gotta get that out of there and get a new bolt and that'll be it for this so I'm gonna back this planter in front of the shop I gotta get the welder out I'm gonna weld a really really small nut on that broke off bolt and see if I can back it out well I didn't really think this was gonna work but see that nut I welded on there and uh, take this wrench and it's backing out the threads that was broken off in there. So, gonna work good here. Well, I got that uh, backed out of there and I'm gonna grab the rest of the parts here. What am I looking for? Sockets. And I got two new bolts. I'm only gonna put one of them on. Keep the other one for a spare get this thing put back together so this is all done here i dropped that unit back down that's it while he was in town i had him grab me a gauge wheel um if you guys are new to this channel i appreciate you guys for watching this video and you might as well hit that sub button but anyways that gauge wheel came off of dad's planner i used it for the last couple of fields we had to get me by so i uh, put that on his planner tomorrow and uh Berkey's was out here I think they got the sprayer finished because, well, they left. So, I don't know. I'll go out there and check it out. So, Dad got surgery on his shoulder today. So, he's going to be tied up for a little while. Uh, I'm in charge of the post spraying this year. So, whenever it's fit to get that all fired up, we'll be rolling. So, I'm going to see how this uh, boom's working here. Looks like uh, both auto booms are not working. And it's not going to auto fold. So, hmm. Not sure what to do. But uh, I can't really even see the monitor that well because of. Uh, oh, that thing's going crazy. Because there's so much light coming through. And I know uh, people said to use this shade back here. And yeah, it's a. Uh, pretty good idea but it doesn't really work so need to get some tin on this baby well that'll be it for today appreciate you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and we'll see you guys next time